Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see tips and tricks in source qualifier transformation in Power Center. The main agenda of this video is why to use source qualifier transformation and I will show you the demo. Then after demo, we'll start seeing one by one tips and tricks. Now, why to use source qualifier transformation? Basically, so we use source qualifier transformation in order to convert. So this will help in converting our database or flat file data types to the power center native data types. So not only this, it will also help to join multiple sources originating from the same source. That means homogeneous sources. For example, if you want to combine two tables, which is coming from the same database and from the same schema, then we can use simply use source qualifier transformation instead of using a joiner transformation. Joiner transformation will also help in joining, but it will help in joining flat files and also it will help in joining heterogeneous sources. But source qualifier will work only for the source data tables. So it won't work for the flat files. Now it is an active and connected transformation. Active in the sense the number of records that are passing into the transformation is equal to the is not equal to the number of records that are outputting. That means based on the condition, it might return some of the review of the records or it might return, return all the records. Now let's start with a quick demo. Now before going to the designer, now let me show you one thing. So this is my source table. Employees 10 is my source table and working 10 is also my source table. Now if you see employee 10 has employee ID and employee name and working 10 has a working location ID and working location and employee ID. So here if you see this employee ID is referencing to the top employees 10 table employee ID. So that means this is a primary key and this is a foreign key and in working 10 also there is a primary key. Now if I just show you the data, so this is employees 10 data. So it has three records and working 10 has two records. Okay, so now what my agenda is, I just need to compare this employee ID and this employee ID and I need to get a record and I need to load into the target the working location. Okay, now this, uh, if you see these two tables, these two source tables are from the same database and from the same schema. So that's why I will use a source qualifier. Let's see how we can use. Now we can see I have already imported employees 10 table and a working 10 table. Now if you see there is a link between employees 10 and working 10. This link is nothing but a foreign key. If you see this is a foreign key which is referring to the primary key. Now if you see here there are two source qualifiers for every table. Now the main, main agenda is I need to combine these two sources and I need to get work location. But if I want to combine these two I need to take one other transformation which is a joiner transformation. Okay, but I don't want to use a joiner transformer. I just need to use a source qualifier only. Now, if you want to convert, then we can simply put these three columns into only one source qualifier transformation. Okay, no need to take multiple source qualifier. So with one source qualifier only, you can join n number of tables. Now we can see coming to ports, uh, we can see so these two are from first table, these three are from second table. Now coming to the properties. So these are very important. Now SQL query. Okay, now if I simply do generate SQL query, I'm getting an error, cannot generate query because there are no valid fields projected from the source qualifier. That means why I'm not getting, uh, because I just, why I'm generating SQL, I just need to write a join condition in order to join these two tables. Why I'm not able to do, the reason is I didn't project any record, any column to the output transformation. The reason is if you just project this, okay, now if I just go again, and properties and SQL query generate SQL. Now you can see I am able to do it now. Now if you see select employees 10 dot employee ID. So that means I have projected employee ID to output transformation. So that's why in the select statement I could see only employee ID from employees 10 comma working 10. That means these are the two tables employees 10 and working 10 where condition you can see where condition by default it is getting. Okay, I am not writing any where condition, join condition. Why? Because as it is having primary key and foreign key relationship, internally Informatica knows that there is a primary key and foreign key relationship. So it is directly writing the inner join. If you are not having primary key, foreign key, you need to write this where and the join condition. So this is by default a inner join. Okay, now let me copy this. Let me run this query directly from the database and let's see what is the output. Now I have copy pasted to here and let's run and let's see the output. Now you can see so employee ID. So we are getting an employee ID. 
okay so that means this employee id is being compared with the second table employee id so both are equal so we are going to get this employee id as we have as we have chosen only employee id we are getting that now let's choose all the three columns now let me choose all the three columns so i am just passing employee id employee name and work location okay now let me go to source qualifier properties and again let me generate sql now we can see employee id is generated in the select and employee name is also and working location is also generated okay so this is remaining everything is same let me run this query now this is a new query now let me run this query now we can see so employee id so this one is being compared with one which is equal i'm getting working location bangalore and the one is being compared to two it is not equal and then again two is compared to one not equal and again two is compared to two which is equal so that's why i'm getting hyderabad next three is not it is not there three so that's why it is not giving anything so here if you see by default it is writing an inner query now let me go to designer again now it is writing an inner query okay now what i am going to do is i am just going to use a left outer join okay so i am this is the one and if you want to validate you need to specify your username and password here i am going to specify now no errors detected now let me run this query from database and let's see now we can see this is a left outer join so this is an advanced syntax in sql you can you can use left outer join uh, keyword also i i am simply using plus on the right side so if you can see left outer join means all the records from left table and only matching records from right table and unmatched records will get null okay so this is how i am able to use left outer join also if you want to use right outer join then we can simply put plus in the rights on the left side and this i can execute from so this is a right outer join okay so this and if you want to use a full outer join then let's go into the designer so this is my full outer join syntax you can simply write full outer join on and then this is the one okay now if i validate so full outer join is also able to perform okay now based on this we understood that inner join is the default one and we can write left outer join right outer join full outer join as well now let me try simply now let me remove this okay now let me generate sql so i am just simply using an uh, inner join only let me run the session and let's see how the data is getting loaded now i have run the session and we can see the data here so this is the output data so it is as expected inner join is going to perform now let's go to designer once again now uh, let let us see the session log first okay so get the session log now i can see the session log here now um, we can see source qualifier instance user specified sql query so this is a query that is getting triggered onto the source database so it's the same employee id employee name working location from employee 10 comma working 10 where employee id is equal to working id uh, where employee id of uh, employee 10 is equal to working 10 employee id now let's me change some of the properties in source qualifier now so this is the query okay now what i i need is i'm just using copy in this and here also we have a property user defined join okay so now what i'm going to do is i need a left outer join as well okay so this is you you don't need to specify where condition you just need to specify the condition only where is not required now i have specified sql query and user defined join as well okay and source filter what i need is i need employee id so which is not equal to 1 that means the remaining records i need this is source filter a number of sorted ports let's see later so these three i am going to use now let me save and let me run the session once again let's see now i have run the session now if you see it is performing only uh, the query that we have specified in sql query only that is executing it is not executing the left outer join it is not executing the source filter now why the reason is the because if you are specifying sql query any anything in the sql query so that will take the top priority and the remaining properties it won't consider now what we need to do is we need to remove the properties whatever defined in sql query and then we need to use the other properties and let's rerun the session now i am going to remove this whatever i have defined i am just removing this and i am now i am going to use user defined join left outer join and the source filter okay now let me apply close let me rerun the session now we can see the sql query that is going to hit is by default these are the employee id employee name working location are the 
uh, columns that are projected outside transformation. So that's why that came into select query. And where condition you can see where is automatically added. So and whatever the condition that we have specified in user defined join. So that we can see here. This is a left outer join and employee ID is not equal to one. So this is also got added to where the source filter. Now let me see the output data. Now we can see it performed. So this is the output. Now we can see it performed left outer join all the records from left table and matching records from left right table and null is we got and there is no employee ID one because we have specified that source filter. Now let us see the other property. So if you see here number of sorted ports is one. Now I'm specifying number of sorted ports is one. That means I am going to sort the data based on the employee ID. Okay, let me run the session. Now we can see here. So this is employee ID, employee name, employee working location is the prop is the columns that are projected outside. And we can see so left outer join is there and filter is also there. And you can see order by got added. So this is I, I have specified number of sorted ports to one. That means so the first port is employee ID in the select statement. So that's why it got here order by employees 10 dot employee ID. Now if I specify number of sorted ports to two, then what is the output here order by employees 10 dot employee ID comma employees 10 dot employee name also I will get. Okay. Now if I add number of sorted ports to three, then what is the output working 10 dot working location also I will get it will get added. Now let's see. Now we can see as I mentioned, I have specified number of sorted ports to three and we can see employee ID employee name and working location. Okay. Now let's consider in the select statement. We have only three columns, but now I am specifying number of sorted ports to five. Let's see. I'm going to specify number of sorted ports to five here and let me save the session. Let me rerun. Now we can see it is a clear warning. It is showing sorted ports five must be less than the projected fields. That means the sorted ports it depends on the projected ports to the outside transformation. It's not the number of ports that are present in the source qualifier. This is the most important thing we need to remember. Now that's why we have specified five, but uh, the projected ports outside to from the source qualifier, we have only three. So that's why it is saying warning of sorted ports must be less than and ignoring the sort request. Now we can see order by is not working. So that is the, that we need to remember. And the next thing that we can see right now, now we can see in the properties. So I am just removing this user defined join. Okay. And I am just using generate SQL. Now we can see. So this is not required. Let me just do this. And we can see. So this is an order by everything is getting. So I just wanted to remove this. This is also not required. Okay. Now by default, it will be zero. Now SQL query, let me generate SQL. So it will, it is a normal inner gen, inner, inner query. Now we can see employee ID, employee name, working location is the one. Okay. Now if I just go to here, employee ID, employee name, working location are in the sorting order only. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am just moving working location to the top. Okay. But in the properties, in the SQL query, I have kept employee ID, employee name, working location. So this is the order I have kept, but in the ports order, I reversed the order. Okay. Now let me rerun the session. Now we can simply see the select query that is going is employee ID, employee name, working location. Okay. From employee 10. But when we are getting that employee ID, that employee ID we are storing, we need to store into, we are indirectly storing into the working location. Okay. So that's why SQL query will issue to the database. But when it is getting the data, you can see reader data invalid number. So select employees 10 dot employee ID employee name working location. So that means the order that you have defined in source qualifier is different and the select SQL query that is going and that is getting back is different. Okay. So that's why when you change the order of ports in source qualifier, you need to regenerate the SQL query. Now let me go and regenerate. Now if I just see here working location is on the top. Employed employee name is in the bottom, but in the source qualifier, I didn't do it right now. If I just generate SQL, now we can see working location and employee ID, employee name got changed according to the sequence of the source qualifier. Now, if I raise on the session, it will work. So that is the important thing you need to remember. Now, these are the video demo. 
like uh, tips and tricks now let's see one by one source qualifier properties works only when your source is stable okay now let me just to take a source flat file and let me show you now you can see i this is a source qualifier which is having flat file now when i go to properties you can see sql query user defined join source filter number of sorted port these all you are graded out the reason as i already mentioned if you are using source qualifier the source qualifier properties will work only for the table it doesn't work for the flat file and also if you want to join you can join only from the head homogeneous source set. that means from the same database from the same schema the table should be there if that is not the case then we can go for the joiner transformation and it helps in joining only sources originating from same source heterogeneous sources does not work you can write your own sql query in the sql query the ports in the select statement comes in the sequence of propagating the ports to outside transformation as i have already shown now only one source qualifier is sufficient to join multiple sources one source qualifier will help you default join will be an inner join as i shown you can write your left outer right outer full outer join next user defined join source filter number of sorted ports these are all the properties select distinct so if any select distinct then distinct keyword will be get added to the sql query okay comes into picture only when you don't use sql query option if you use sql query option as i shown sql query will get highest priority and the next one is instead of joiner transformation now why we are using source qualifier transformation why there are lot of properties see uh, source qualifier will have n number of properties where we can do all the join filter sorter and distinct everything we can do in source qualifier only you don't need to uh, use any other transformation so instead of joiner transformation we can put join condition in sql query or can use user defined join so in joiner transformation we are reducing in our mapping and filter transformation instead of it we can simply put where condition or we can use that source filter option as i showed and instead of sorter transformation so we can simply put order by in the sql query or as i shown number of sorted options we can use next instead of aggregator transformation or sorter transformation to remove duplicates we can simply put distinct keyword and joiner transformation is used to join heterogeneous sources and to join flat files okay now these are the differences you can go through these differences where it it will have detailed information whatever i have shown now feedback you can give your feedback at support video setting for medical or a twitter channel thank you for watching this video